we received this little bonsai starter plant and the pot was broken when it came in. So I wanted to show you how to repot bonsai because it's very different than your typical plants. Let's talk about it. There's been just a steady rain all day and that is, uh, here in the south means it's front porch sitting weather. So that's what we're doing, sitting on the front porch, working on the bonsai. Bonsai. It's a loud truck going by. Yeah, people were, last time I made a bonsai video, people were telling me how to pronounce it. All right, so we've got a broken pot here. The main difference between repotting bonsai and regular house plants is bonsai are wired to the pot. So you can pick up the bonsai tree by the trunk and it doesn't fall out. And that's because they've attached it with wire. See that wire? So that's the first thing we'll have to do is address that. So the first thing I'll do is take my chopstick and find out where those wires are attached. So I'm just gonna start scraping away. So you can see as I expose this, this is where they twisted that wire. Uh, and there'll be another one on the other side of the trunk over here. Let's look for that real quick. That's gonna be harder to see. But uh, it is in here. Right there. So I'll get my pliers out and I'll untwist those. Okay, now the tree should just lift out of here, just like that. We're gonna clean off the roots and see what we're dealing with here. All right, just kind of taking a look at what kind of shape the roots are in. I may do a little root trimming since I've got it out. Although it's going into a pretty big pot, so we don't really need to trim a lot off of it. I just might do some cleaning up on it. It was definitely in nursery soil, so we're gonna give it a more dedicated bonsai soil. It doesn't have these big chunks of wood in it. I like these more fibrous roots, not these big roots like this, so we're gonna cut that out of there. It'll just make it easier to work with these more fibrous roots if we do decide to put it in a different size pot. In fact, I'm gonna consider putting this in a smaller pot. I was planning on putting it in here, but really, we've got a lot of room to spare. So we could go to a smaller pot if we do a little root trimming. Hold that back. Here's some options. So here's the ceramic pot I was planning on putting it in. These are um, bonsai training pots, so they're plastic. So this one is roughly the same size. Whereas this one is a lot smaller. Let's see. Could we make this work? If we do some root trimming? Oh, I bet we could. I bet we can. We're also gonna do some pruning on this tree while we have it out. Might as well. Let's start with the roots though. going to kind of go around the perimeter. This is going to encourage a more branched and fibrous root system. 
which will make it easier for future repotting. Now remember, I am a beginner, so uh, not an expert on bonsai. I am learning just like the rest of you. So, <laughs> some of you are like, obviously. Do I want to get rid of that? It's kind of sticking up. I think I do. I think that'll fit nicely in there. There's one really thick root right there that's keeping it from sitting down in the pot, so we're gonna take that out. <laughs> I think that'll make a difference. Now, why am I going to a smaller pot? Well, that's kind of what bonsai is about. Um, the smaller pot will make the tree look bigger. So you put this thing in a great big pot like this, you know, it's barely as wide as the pot. Uh, it doesn't look that impressive. Proportionally, drop it into here. All of a sudden the tree looks much bigger because the pot is smaller. So that's fitting in there much more nicely now. I gotta clean up my work area. better. I'm going to do just a little more pruning on the sides. All right, I think we're ready to wire it into place. So bonsai pots are always going to have multiple holes in the bottom, your drain holes, your wire holes. These training pots, it's got a bigger drain hole with a built-in mesh, smaller wiring holes. Uh, so we're gonna run some wires up through there that are gonna hold this tree in place. All right, so I got my wire. I'm just gonna cut off a pretty generous piece here. And we're gonna go in to this hole and this hole. Feed those through. So we're gonna push that all the way up in there. And then we're gonna lay these over the side. It's kind of cold out here today, but I'm gonna enjoy the cooler weather now because before long, it's going to be quite hot. So even though my hands are cold, I'm just gonna say that I'm enjoying this and relishing in probably the last time I'll be cold for a while. Cause soon it will be summer. <laughs> if you've ever wondered why bonsai pots are kind of off the ground a little bit, these little legs. It's for the wires. Okay, once we have our wires like this, we're going to add a little bit of soil in here and then we'll place the tree. I'm just using uh, this pre-made bonsai soil. This one's pretty rocky so I'll probably add something else to it. So what we do is we want it mounded up in the center a little bit when we place the tree, like a cone in the middle, to ensure that we're not gonna have empty space under the roots, under the middle of the roots. And then we'll just kind of wiggle it into place and that'll spread that cone out. 
but we won't, don't want this too high. So I'm gonna work on the angle that we want first. And then uh, probably need to backfill a little over here before we cinch this thing down. Well, that was a lot. Look at that. That's looking pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna bring our wires across. This part's a little tricky. When you have these low hanging branches. We're gonna secure this thing. Can't twist too much or you'll break your wire. Ask me how I know. But you do want it snug in there. other side and just double check how it's looking okay I actually didn't like how it was looking so I'm adjusting that angle now it was a little too laid back so before I wire down the other side we're gonna add some more soil then Okay, now we are secure, so I can pick this up by the trunk, not move it, let's clip off our excess wire, Take this and we'll Fold this down so that way it doesn't poke us later on. Same thing over here. Almost repotted now. I just need to add some more soil. Typically bonsai soil is, is very well draining. They use a lot of um, Lava rock, pumice, uh, akadama, which is a Japanese clay. Sometimes you'll see um, expanded shale. There's a lot of different ingredients that people will use. But you want a well-draining soil, and you want something that will also have some nutrition, which is why they add the clay. what we have so far now we haven't started trimming yet so it's gonna kind of I guess it looks better if I hold it lower we'll do some trimming on this okay so I've got it mostly repotted now the last thing I'll do down here is I'll add a little bit of fertilizer and then I'll top it off with some finely shredded sphagnum moss to help retain moisture so it doesn't dry out so quickly uh, but before that we are going to do a little trimming so uh, let's take a look at what this looks like before trimming I think it looks a lot better in this smaller pot already and then let's time lapse to me uh, cutting on this thing
think that's all the trimming I'll do on it today. Remember, this is a starter plant and it's not mine. So I'm gonna let whoever is the next owner of this plant decide what they wanna do up here. All I did was take some of this long growth off, uh, but I don't wanna remove a lot of these smaller branches yet because one of these may end up being the apex for this tree later on. You know, you could let this grow out and kind of come back towards the front of the tree. Uh, but I'll let the next owner decide that. But I did want to expose the movement in this trunk because uh, it's got quite an interesting shape to it. Uh, so by removing all of this central growth here, you can really see the shape of this tree. I'll just put that shredded moss on top and uh, we're done for the day. Okay, this moss is long fiber sphagnum moss. Those long fibers are gonna be too long uh, to fit in here. It'll be like real pillowy uh, unless I shred this. So what I found a trick for shredding this sphagnum moss is you gotta do this when it's really, really dry. It doesn't work when it's wet. But when it's dry, it's really windy today. You can just crush it and rub it between your hands and that will cause it to just get really, really fine if it doesn't blow away today. Take those longer pieces and just kind of crush them and break them and then that'll be ready for going right on top of this and then we'll water it in. And Here's what I think is the front of the tree. Gotta water it before all the moss blows away. All right, last look. And then she'll be back to the store. Be a good little starter plant for somebody.